Hello and welcome to Infinity. I've been taking a bit of time out to write a couple of new macros for you. And you just follow the link down below and then sort of drag and drop the .af macros file onto here or in the library which goes from View Studio and from that you can then go to the hamburger at the top there and import macros and find the file that way. But anyway, you should end up with Dave's HSL variants. And if we open this up, there's two macros here. And we're going to use this pattern here to help figure it out, because these are variants on the HSL idea. And this is hue up here. This is saturation from gray to saturated red in this case. And this is luminosity from black. To white so we can see the effects when working on those. So if I go first of all to subtle HSL then double click this it just appears as a single layer which is the procedural texture layer here and we've got HSL here but what it does is if it as it says it's a subtle form for example let's go here if I turn this to one I get the normal HSL thing so if I turn this up uh, then it, this effectively rotates the hue up here and it does it quite dramatically whereas if I go to the zero here and then rotate here hue here it just shifts it a little bit because it's a non-linear it will eventually shift it a long way but it gives you a lot of play in here or just a little bit of shift because you want that amount of play because you only often want to just nudge the color the saturation if I turn the saturation up here, and this you can see on this, this you can tip, push this right to the end stop. It will it'll bump up the saturated colour here, or go down to the other end. It doesn't make it completely grey, but you've still got a bit of colour here, particularly in the mid-tones. And luminosity likewise, if you look on the bottom one here, if I turn this up here, then you can see it's pushing the white there down towards the black and it's pushing the black up there but it doesn't make the whole thing go completely grey so let's delete that there and look at this in a couple of pictures here so I go subtle HSL there open it up it's just the top layer here and with this then uh, if I turn the hue up here a bit you can see it just nudges the colour here and it got quite a lot of play in it so it nudges it either way saturation I can turn this right up all the way there and it just makes it a bit more colourful here and I can turn it down it just takes the colour out but without bashing the whole thing so it doesn't go completely grey it just mutes the whole thing so it's a bit a lot more gentle and luminosity again you can turn this all the way up and you get a whiter picture but it's not completely just white it out and all the way down it doesn't just go to black but it makes the picture darker which is what you want so this makes the picture di darker and lighter so I could say darken it and make it a bit more colorful or because it's darker I think dark in the darkness you the color tends to drop down as well so I can turn that down as well so it gives me a lot more control like that and in a more country scene here than subtle HSL Um, if I shift the hue a bit here, you can see, look what it does to the sky there. You can just get a different colour of sky. So it's a useful hue shift. Saturation, if I turn this up, look what happens here to the greens and the yellows. You see the, the, the trees here. It just makes it nicely more saturated. If you turn it all the way up, you're going to get it. You may get some lag on this, by the way, but before you, know, you move this when it calculates it. This is a fairly fast computer, but if yours is slower, then you'll see that it will change it. But that's just because of the way these commands here. There's a lot of, of calculation going on. So again, you can make this a bit more muted. You can make it a light picture. Yeah, and you make it a dark picture, but it all does it in a kind of sensible and, and you know, kind of fine way. So you can just play with all kinds of things on this. So there we go, that's the subtle HSL and in the next video I'll show the hue, whiteness and blackness because this needs a bit more explaining but we'll leave it there for now 
and subtle HL, HSL. Actually, I find it more useful than the other HSL for a lot of things where I just want to give some universal change to a picture. Anyway, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.